story? How will it end? How does it go? Is it fated for, uh, for happiness or is it fated for disaster? You decide based on the theme. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's you get to create the ending that you'd like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Once Upon a Mess Story, a competitive storytelling show here on the app. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is where the guests are given a theme and uh, they use backdrops, they use costumes, some you know fancy limericks, accents, whatever they'd like to deliver an amazing story that is usually judged. And today it's judged by over three amazing uh, streamers on the app. Uh, one is a top badge. Her name is Winda, who's got a ton of featured shows. We also have Bella Vida, uh, who has won several of these um, of the shows, along with Lux, and also a winner here on uh, the show. Thank you, thank you for all the guests. I'm so sorry I might not be able to acknowledge all of them during the stories, but I appreciate all of your love and support for this show. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my next guest, if everyone is requesting the box. Ladies and gentlemen, goes by the name of Flirty Danny the Nanny. What will he bring to Splitsville, USA? Stay tuned to find out. Danny, thank you so much for being a part of the show. I know it's your first time with us. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself if you'd like to, and then jump right into your story. Hi, Flirty Danny. Um, People just call me Danny typically. And I do like to write stories, whatever was in my head. So this is my little take on Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there was two towns that lived harmoniously on the streets of, the, of Meet Me and POF when a person wanted to start thinking of a new name of the town that had a name for the town, having some votes and some beautiful ideas. They were doomed with an earthquake that split the, the two sides of the town. People jumping to side of one side of the street or the other, looking for cover, fires exploding, from the land falling as the gravel from the streets broke from the tattered land it once stood. It all even, not even evenly, just rugged and gravel, the grass and the mud, the dirt that flexed and broke the town, people falling in the holes, of what was once two, one beautiful town split in two towns, as they have a big stretch of land in between both sides that went down past the earth to no one could see. As bodies fell into the stretch of land on both sides, the town, the people decided to take the resources that they had and turn the two divided towns once now into two separate towns, as they both use the resources to their disposal like a unique bridge that people helped, everyone that wanted to start over again or didn't have a choice, just allow where they were thought they had to go. To some people made homes on both sides of the streets, the two towns mayors, the most popular people in the area that lived divided, the king and queen of the land got back together. Parties started back up, different shows and businesses opened up on each side of the towns. When people visit the area or moving in, getting some resources to paint the towns, the colors that they decided, the pink and the black that stung the area with the purple and the white that made it so that the, as the towns lit up the night, but never forgetting what happened with the great divide, a quote from above. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're now tuning in. I hope that you have flirty Danny favorite. He's one of my favorite streamers here on this app. So please make sure that we have him favorited. Go jump in his stream. Maybe give him some kudos of how you thought his story went today. Great way to have conversations with some of these streamers. So job well done, Danny. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Once Upon a Mess Story. This is a storytelling, a competitive storytelling show here on the app where the guest is given play free so he love um where the storytellers are given a theme and they create a narrative choosing you know some backdrop sometimes to add it's not necessarily uh you know a requirement but if you want to add to your story and give us a little bit of you know picturesque style 
always encouraged. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you all to be a guest on this show. Uh, I'm looking for my other guests, Velvet Rosé, and for Queen Diva to please request the box. Judges, uh, I know you're busy taking your notes, so I'm gonna give them a quick shout out. We've got Bella Vida, Lux, and Top Batch Winda are judges um, for today. And we've got you, ladies and gentlemen, rocking it out with us. Big shout out to my top three supporters of the stream. We've got Top Batch Winda, the one and only Mayor, and Lux. Please make sure you have those three superstars favorited. And of course, I encourage you to favor each other in the stream. All right. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for our next guest? Are we ready? I, you know what? I don't think y'all are ready. Why am I bringing people into the box when y'all are not ready? Can we put a, can we run some, some ones up in here? Right, Rose, you got it. Or Rose, you're not Rose, you're Rose. Yeah, Rose. yeah. Come on, we need some encouragement for, uh, and at this time, uh, storytellers, please request the box. I know I saw y'all in here earlier. I think I think they're ready. Let's see who's in it. Uh, Velvet Rose and I believe Queen Diva is our, our two next people. But you know what? Uh, as they're getting ready, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit about um, being a guest on this show. Uh, we always are looking for new faves. We're always looking for. Uh, ways to attract people into our streams, all right? Uh, what better way to do it than being on shows and being engaged on, on shows as a way to showcase, um, you know, your talents and what you're capable of doing for your streams. So what better way to do it than, you know, uh, boxing up, showing some of your creative style and the things that you're able to do. You don't have to win the very first episode you're on, uh, but you know what? Come out, put yourself out there. There's a ton of people that are always looking um, to make to to join a new stream and find out what you're about. Uh, I saw Velvet Rose in the the comments earlier. Uh, you can request the box at this time. And where is our Queen Diva? First time in a feature show, I'm glad I was about to write. And that's how sometimes you have to do it, be a part of the shows. Yes, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got my admins in here. We've got uh, Baird Raider. We have Emoji J, and we've got Bariqua Queen. Anybody want to message uh, Queen Diva? Now she's like 10 minutes away. Yeah, so we're about to box up the judges um, get the show. Then wasn't Velvet Rosé in here? Hey, Timmy. I saw her doing the most about how her name, maybe she got upset that her name wasn't spelled or pronounced right. Hey, Mander. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I hope she wasn't intimidated because your stories were really good. Everybody has a different style. Bessie. Man, I was a red mess splitting from me. That was that was on you, Winda. That was on you. That's all you. Hey, bloodline. That was all you. You decided to pick. POF and split for meet me. You cheated. But uh, that's how we met. Um, it's, it's, that's how we met, because I cheated. So can I be, should I be expected? I'm from the streets. You know, I'm from that little back alley um, street place. Aaron, thank you. My current purse split. Hey, Anthony, thank you for the gift, love. Aaron, thank you for the favorite. He lied to me. I lied to everyone, in all fairness. <laughs> ah, Free Soul thought he was the one, too. 
It's a bunch of disappointed people in here. I don't know why you guys come back. <laughs> There's a bunch of disappointed people in here. Hey, Night Owl. We came back because you're funny. I thought we come, came back because I'm gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. T Dog, please. You're lucky you made it into the stream at this point. Finally, and blocked you after two years. Not too much. I would stay in the back. Do very little. You know, blend real quick. You have it coming. Uh, I love you, Mitch. <laughs> Camouflage. Hi. <laughs> You know what, I have to start, you know what, one of the things I wanted to, to do, and I think I'll, hey, Bonnie, what's up, girl? Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was start to contribute some of my stories, but you know, I never wanted to take away from my guests, their experience and, you know, having to tell a story and, you know, give a, a different take on it. But um, and these days I'm gonna, I'll probably do it as a back end. After all is done, I'm gonna probably try and find a little time can we have a family reunion with the POF extended family? Always. You know what? The POF people are coming over here in droves. We don't have to have a reunion. They're coming here in droves. I'm trying to, we were trying to fend half of them off. They're taking over. <laughs> They're all back. <laughs> I think that um, off topic, but I think that uh, POF has already stopped the migration. Laura, thank you for the favorite love. Uh, Bella, thank you. I think they've stopped the migration over on, so that they, this, I mean, this split is crazy because I wish somebody would tell a story about um, how, uh, you know, POF has decided to close the border on taking anymore after the split. Hey, baby, have um, stopped, like closed the border. Hi, Laura. You know, we could have had something about that. Like, you know, I'm banned till Monday is wild. So did meet me. No, it's still open. It's still open. I would have heard about it because I'm doing a uh, recruitment and stuff. It's always Nate's fault. Yo soy majorista. Okay, I don't know. It sounds like you're doing massages and you're in a whole different... I am... Um, Okay, I'm glad you you are what you are. You are what you are. Just what it is, just what it is. Oh, we don't want to know. It's a feature show. We don't want them to explain. At this point, we don't need them to explain during my feature show. Come back after three, <laughs> after four, <laughs> after four. We're taking yeah. So what's up, Diesel? Yeah, we, we don't know, wanna know about anybody rubbing up on nobody. What's up, Water Walker? Yeah, uh, we don't wanna know about that kind of lifestyle during my featured show. Come back after when we have our own, yeah. Why did you kick out Anthony? Oh, Madge, hi, Water Walker. Oh my God, the cat was just here. It's a one hour kick out for me. Come back later, you can tell us all about, did you say cat? Yeah, I have a, come here, baby, come here. Are we just waiting for um, our guests? Uh, I, I understood half of it and what I did understand were parts that I wasn't, um, that I wasn't. This is why we divorced y'all because you got me sitting here eating chips waiting on y'all. I already finished all my cheese and everything. Like I ordered cheese and dip to watch a show. <laughs> Hi everybody. We're ready for Queen Diva that is stuck in traffic and said, but she's gonna be right here. And I saw Velvet Rose in the audience. She was doing a whole lot of chit chatting and it's empty now see i ate all the cheese 
Wait, Free Soul, did you unsubscribe to me? It's all my unsubscribers for me. Y'all about to have me effed up. Y'all lucky I can't cut. You need a margarita to go with your chips and your cheese. You know, that would is everybody you. unsubscribing for me? What is this? Unsubscribe day? <laughs> Let me see. Let's Every day I look at this, I'm down to 37. I'm supposed to be gaining let's numbers, let's not let's losing. When you can you subscribe? Okay. Um, no Come subscribe on. button. On yeah, PC. I hired a lawyer so that um, I can get my POF alimony. I feel I'm dead. Different. All right, so Splitsville story. Splitsville yeah. story. All right, we got one. We got one. Hold I on, let me drink my water. Alimony, then I will be too poor to continue gifting. And we all know I I transitioned from gifter to streamer, and without my POF alimony, I am not able to survive. My little Nino had to play soccer today with only one sock. How can he play with one sock? La cagaste. La cagaste. Tragic. So tragic. <laughs> Yes. You know, here's here's the problem with the splits bill. So then I had to leave my husband, my side piece, you know, the wife. Um, what else? Yeah. A couple others on the side over at Meet Me because they don't have POF accounts. Right. And, how and then you? Matt decided he wanted to also break up with me, even though he has a POF account, he decided to break up with me and leave me over there too. Doesn't come visit me, doesn't come say hi, doesn't throw me kisses and hugs. Because Matt saw you with somebody else. Somebody came in saying that Winda just dropped him a milli. So when I saw Winda spending more money on other people, I, I was like, two milli. Two milli. Yeah, so Winda dropped two milli on him. So I was like, well, you want to do your thing, I'm going to do my thing. So, so Winda's a sugar baby. I, you know? Got a sugar baby uh, you know, you know, so, let me um, tell you, let me tell you. See, now if he would have if he would have been patient when they gave us that matching, which gave me an extra six milli, maybe if he wouldn't have cheated and left me, he would have gotten his piece from the matching. I'm so dead. The piece is crazy. Bread. I should have gotten it all, Winda. I should have gotten it all. You didn't it's all or nothing. Know. It's the improv <laughs> improv show all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to once upon Hi guys, a welcome, welcome to once upon a mess story. Oh, We're just waiting for one of our guests to get in. Because of the split, I cannot afford a big backup device. <laughs> you know, I was gonna take Mesh on my trip, my my next cruise and everything. I was so prepared to hook him up to you know take him with me. I was gonna turn him straight, but then I decided we'll just keep him the way that he is. And that way, you know, we can, just, we can just share the next man we find. <laughs> yes, yes, you can share the man. You can oh, my God. With Madge, I will make the agreement. You get him Monday to Wednesday. Winda gets him Thursday to Saturday. And then Sunday, he alternate. Mm -hmm. You know, back and forth. Oh, okay. Or at the same time. The alternate is crazy. Do, do I get a date to myself? You can have a group coupon. And then on group coupon days, you are all together as a good happy group family. Group coupons wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how you come up with this? How you come up with this group group coupon thing? I don't, I don't know, know, but she figured out our whole sex schedule here. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I had a feature show on here. That word can be said. <laughs> I said it for two and a half years. <laughs> Wait, you don't do your show on here anymore? You don't do me anything Chris, on here? Me and Chris Pastor do not see eye to eye. Pastor? Yeah. You see? She needs, <laughs> she needs an agent. She needs a new agent. I cannot believe. Why can't you believe, Free Soul? Yeah. Free Soul, how have you been, love? I haven't seen you in a while. I know you're traveling, love. How is your trip going? In. Yes, welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Once Upon a Mess Story, a featured storytelling show here on the Meet Me app. It happens every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and where the guests are given a theme and they create a narrative. It's filled with backdrops some costumes and some amazing, amazing uh, ways in which they deliver their stories. Tune in and be a part of the show as well. We can reach out to you if you want to put a, a two or a three in the comments. Um, we will uh, definitely reach out to you as well. All right, and we've got two of my judges on the storytelling admin inbox, so make sure you favorite everybody. Uh, Free Soul, I'm, I'm, 
in Miami too. Crazy. Huh? He's not in Miami, right? That's I was traveling. That's I just got to Miami. South and Beach. I, I think I saw someone said they would tell a story. Hey, hey. There was someone offering. Oh, it was Beard Raider <laughs> said she would tell a story. <laughs> yeah, Beard Raider is one of the admins for the show too. We right next door. I see you. I can see you. I, I recognize that tattoo anyway. <laughs> Door is mm. If I need to, she said she's pulling in her driveway. So, oh, she's pulling up. So her story is gonna be really interesting. She may, she may have. It better be really good. She's gonna have cheese for us. Yeah, after we did all this, stalling so her. <laughs> Flirty Danny, yes. Yeah, see, Flirty Danny's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay, you don't think you could have found a, a smaller chair? <laughs> It's a comfy chair. That's his throne. Not too much on his comfy throne. Good night. You probably sleep on there too. Mine's I'm getting uh, comfortable enough. You probably sleep on that, don't you? He comfortable brought new meaning to living room. <laughs> He's living there. Oh, this is my room. That is wild. <laughs> it is cool though. So yeah. I just figured out that there is no light near here. I don't I have this. So I have no ring. I mean, the ring light is there, but I have no ring. Oh, somebody who rich big bonus. The pull up is crazy. Free. Thank you, my love. We um, know. We need to get but I have no way to plug this in. Okay. dog. Thank you. Ooh, I got to maintain my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. I'm about to kick thank off you. everybody out. Kick out. Uh, because Queen thank Diva you. is here. Thank you so much. Queen Diva is here. And oh wait, y'all collect y'all gifts first. When are you good? Yep. You ready? Oh. Let me, yeah. oh, well, maybe. Mona. Ooh, he got glizzies. Lucky emoji. Thank you, Free Soul. Free Soul, thank you so much for supporting everybody. I appreciate you, my love. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present. Uh, a guest who is no stranger to my show or no stranger to shows. This is how you do it. You make sure that you are popular and you are going on a ton of shows just to get more exposures. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for our next guest? Put at one in the comments if we're ready for our next guest. We ready? We ready? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, may I present my next guest. She goes by the name of Queen Diva. And she's going to give her take on the great me, me and POF split, Splitsville, USA, ladies and gentlemen, Queen Diva. Hi, hey everybody. Sorry, I'm like, I was literally stuck in traffic, but I'm here now. Anyway, okay. So everybody knows, you know, about the Splitsville, USA, whatever. Okay. Yeah, it was hard for all of us. I ain't even going to lie. It was hard for all of us. But that's just an narration of the story. Let me get into it. Once upon a time, there lived two apps, PLF, been a dad, meet me, been a mom. You know, we had a, we had wonderful, wonderful streamers. I mean, wait, their names were, we had Mesh. Wait, wait, not just Mesh, but we had Top Badge Mesh. And you know, Everybody was asking, oh, Madge, where are you going to go? Are you going to go to POF? Are you going to stay on Meet Me? I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't know about her, but, you know, I'm I'm both. Sometimes I'm Meet Me, sometimes I'm POF. But, you know, I, I, I can't speak for him. I, 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 honestly, I can't because... He, you know, he was he me and he was talking yesterday. He said, um, I don't know, I like I, I, I miss dad, but I also like mom too, because you know, with mom we can get away with a lot of more stuff over here. You know, we, we, we get away a lot with a lot. We go to dad's house. Hey dad, can we do this? <clears throat> no, you can't smoke. Hey dad, can we drink? No, you can't drink. Ugh. Hey dad, what about this? No. Hey mom, can we smoke? Mm hmm Hey mom, can we drink? Yeah. Hey, mom, can I go to my other friend's lives? Yeah, you can go there. But you know what? That's neither here or there, okay? The Splitsville, it was hard. 
because we lost a lot of supporters. We lost a lot of favorites. We lost a lot of people that, you know, come to our stream. If they're not on Meet Me, they're on Peel Up. If they're not on Peel Up, they're on Meet Me. But not only did we lose supporters, but a lot of families split apart. A lot of friendships split apart. And it, the, the principle of it all, I mean, I know that they're working on the app. They're trying to get the kinks and stuff right, and all this, you know. But my thing is the boxes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, me personally, I don't like the boxes. Like they're just like too close together. And it's like boom, 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 boom. And, you know, I say honestly, for me, the music for me is better over here. I mean, don't get me wrong, they might fix it over there. They might, you know, get a couple of tweaks over there. But the split, like, oh my God, like everyone's like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Am I gonna am I gonna do this? Am I gonna be over here? Am I gonna be over there? Am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do this? I'm like, hey, wait, wait a minute now, wait a minute. I went live the first day and I'm over here like, this is ghetto. This is like TikTok. This is TikTok mixed with a whole bunch of big ol' This is like, this is ghetto, okay? But I ain't gonna lie, some of the gifts over there, they gotta work on those too, but the, some of the gifts over there, I'm like, hello? Can't can lie, I mean, like, uh, like the gifts over there, like, yo, hey, yo. But, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much trash about them because I know that you're starting and I know that you're trying to, you know, trying to fit in, but, and let's talk about meet me for a little bit. So when we left, y'all, y'all, y'all was being, yeah, they were being petty. Buy fish leash here. We taking out the trash and all that. What was that about? Listen, I was gonna be like, not too much, not too much, now, not too much. Like, like for real. Y'all seen the gifts? Y'all seen them? I, I, I know y'all seen them. Mm hmm. Come on, some. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we just had to take out the fish for a little bit. I'm like. Take out the fish. Hold on, wait a minute now. For y'all say anything, this was my home first. Meet me, me was my home before I switched to POF. Okay, but we're back now. You know, we're back. So we 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 do both. We're we're on both right now. But see what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Come on, some buy fish leash you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. y'all were being petty. But moral of the story is, we lost people. We gain people. We lost families. We gain families. But you know what? And our reality is, I'm not here to throw shade. I'm not here to talk trash. Because guess what? They, they, what are you trying to say? You trying to so you take you taking me out? What what, what are you trying to say? I'm trash. Okay. Anyway, but the moral of the story is, like I said, I'm a queen. Okay, get in there with the subscribe. Oh, oh, that's what I love about Meet Me because you can subscribe now. You can subscribe. Okay, but if you, want to do, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to Queen, uh, we appreciate you. I mean, maybe one day, but anyway, like I said, I'm queen of both. Okay, I, I'm queen of both. He's king of both. So y'all know where to find me. If you want me, if you if you want to find me, my Jesus my bio. Ask around about me. You know who I am. Love y'all. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. That was Queen Diva. And she was giving her take on the great split. It's almost like the parting of the Red Sea, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and indeed it was. It was the parting of the Red Sea is how we, we should kind of coin it. Splitsville, USA, if you were tuned in, this is what you were listening to. Storytelling guests were boxed up and they were giving their account on the big split between these two infamous apps in the uh, the atmosphere, uh, the great Meet Me and the amazing Plenty of Fish. What happened? What caused the split? What happened during the split? And what happened after it? they were splitted? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we heard from Queen Diva. We also heard from Emoji J. And we also heard an amazing story by who? Do you, do you guys remember these guests? Nobody, nobody's paying attention to my amazing guests? This is wild. Flirty Danny was also in here. 
Y'all not paying attention to my amazing storytellers? Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've been joining these stories. That was our last guest. And now the judges, I'm stalling for the judges to make their little final notes. Uh, my amazing three judges, Stop Badge Vendor, who was in a box, Bella Vida, and Lux, and they've all been storytellers here on my show as well. And Bella and Bella Vida and Lux have also won uh, championship titles here, like won the whole season. Like when the winners went up against the other winners, they actually won those. So um, this is all for competitive fun, though. We love a good tale. I, I grew up, you know what? This, um, the reason for, for this show is that I've grown up with so many beautiful stories and you always wanted to change in your mind. You were constantly changing the endings. Uh, maybe you wanted to end up with the prince from, uh, maybe you wanted to kiss the, the prince to kiss you from Sleeping Beauty or uh, did you want to be one of the elves? What would you have done as not one of the elves? One of the dwarfs, you know? Uh, so it's about you putting your twist on some of these stories. And that's what I wanted to, um, <clears throat> to encourage and bring out of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if my judges can please request the box at this time and please let us know your thoughts on today's uh, storytellers and then they will return back into the chat and using the criteria that they have been given, they will be scoring the stories and delivering the winning verdict. Who will win today? All right. I see everybody coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. A big shout out to my top three supporters of the stream. We've got Free Soul, we've got Top Badge Winda, and we've got Joe Bessie. So we got three of them in there. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the box uh, season champion on this show, now a judge because. Uh, I guess that yeah, we, we, yeah, she she's just winning all these shows, so we might as well just make her a judge. <laughs> and if you guys have questions, uh, they my judges are always willing to give you guys tips as well. If you get a little stuck, so please make sure that you're reaching out to the judges. And here is Bella Vida, another one of my judges. She's also a seasoned champion. Reach out to some of the judges and ask them some tips if you're stuck. jump into your stream, chat with them about if you have an idea for a show. Um, and we've got Top Badge Winda, a, a content creator here on the app as well. So judges, what do you think about today's story? The Splitsville USA, the great split of the app. What did you judges think uh, about the storytelling yesterday? And if you'd like to introduce yourself, please. Let's have a all right. Hi, I'm Lux. Hi, everybody. Um, you can find me just about every day for coffee time, 11 to 1 Eastern. And if you miss me there, you can certainly find me every Saturday for my featured show, Tic Tac Trivia, right here on Meet Me at 10 p.m. Eastern. And an hour after that, we do Audience Edition, Tic Tac Trivia, a little Lux after dark, so you can join us for that. So fun. So thank you for having me on your show. I love your show. Uh, it's so much fun, and I think it's a great way to bring stories to life. You know, they tend to be sort of one-dimensional upon the paper, and here we have the opportunity uh, to to give them, they pop out like a pop-up book, you know, they pop out of the page. Um, and I think that I saw some stories popping out of the uh, the pages today, so uh, it was uh, some different uh, mediums too, which is, um, which is neat, because then you can kind of uh, take what works for you and uh, integrate that into your story. So, yeah, I'm excited about these stories today. Should I talk about the stories now? <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to go into your, your review of the... Okay, okay, I'll just... Okay, I'll just, okay. <clears throat> okay perfect. So, um, Emoji J, bravo. Um, I thought that was really cool. I was expecting a fictional story, you know, and I think it's interesting that you brought a non-fiction sort of version. It was it was like a documentary, you know, it was informative. Um, I could I almost know, see right. like Morgan Freeman um, narrating one of these down the line. So bravo. 
uh, yeah, very lovely. Um, and then, yeah, again, so you can use different mediums um, to, to tell your, your story here. So uh, bravo, bravo. Uh, and then we had Danny, and I thought it was a cute story. It was uh, nicely wrapped up. You have your beginning, middle, and an end, um, which was lovely. And um, just to add that three-dimensional, you know, throw, throw um, uh, maybe a costume or some sound effects or whatever. And then you've added that three-dimensional to um, what's a very cute, uh, a very cute story. And a little bit of eye contact, you know. And even if um, what I like to do is sort of put my um, story, like tape it up near my phone, so I'm reading it, but it looks like I'm looking at you guys. So um, it's pretty good. So bravo, Daddy. And um, again, to the, all the storytellers, thank you for putting yourself out there. Um, it takes a lot to uh, to come and just you know express yourself in front of everybody. So uh, applause to to everybody who does uh, do the storytelling. And it's so much fun. Um, I just love it. I love it so much um, that I just kept coming back and trying and trying again until I won and kept winning. And then now I'm a judge and then yay. <laughs> and Queen Diva, um, lovely. It was like a monologue, I think. Um, I think I, I may have gotten lost in the plot along the way. Um, but once I settled into like monologue, I was like, okay, yeah, you know, I feel it. And we had a prop, Mickey. Mickey was, was there with you. Um, so that was uh, that was good, and uh, and I definitely agree. I like the analogy of the mom and the dad because that's definitely what I was saying that um, we were trying to decide if we wanted to go to mom or dad's, and you know where we're going to spend the weekend and things like that. So um, and right now I'm here at mom's um, on meet me, and then um, go visit dad from time to time. You know, there's something fun going on there. All right, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, lots. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my love. Bella Vida, our other season champion. Now uh, I have to make them into judges because uh, they do so well. And let me tell you, not all of my judges uh, have you know won every of their episode as well. So this is taken for every one of them. So don't think that you have to come on. And there's, uh, of course, it's a, it's a competitive pressure, but they actually kept coming on so until they won their shows and then just kept doing better. So it's all about observing sometimes and keep pushing yourself every time you're on the show to do a little better. All right, Bella. Hi, I'm Bella Vida. Um, I'm a streamer. Uh, I love, you know, late night streams because of my schedule, but we still have fun. It's a blast. We have a lot of music centered kind of vibes there. Uh, people joke a lot. We perform. Uh, we have our ghetto Pictionary, so we have a good time, right? So if you're really good at guessing and you can deal with my bad art, come on by, okay? You're <laughs> Everybody's welcome, even trolls. We can out troll you, I promise. So everybody wins in my stream. But just really quickly, I enjoyed all of uh, the presentations today. I mean, I'm a theater kid at heart, so I love the different perspectives. Um, we'll start with Emoji J, because Emoji J, look, you use technology, which, you know, brings into a modern effect. You know, a lot of us are using like the old school props and the voice and everything, and you brought it with the technology. So I felt like I was watching a movie trailer. I was like, ooh, when's this movie going to come out? <laughs> so I was like, yes for the graphics, yes for the story storyline and you made it dramatic in a way that you you were telling the story and you made it come alive so it's like i want to watch it i actually want to see more it's like what's episode two of you know la, la novella they'll split you know so i just want to i wanted to see that um i wanted to see more and that's a good thing so you make me want to see more um flirty danny again yes you had a very cute story i could tell you put thought into like the storyline and where it was going to build to so I, I always love the detail when someone puts that into their story but yeah you want to engage more just kind of be confident it just j the confidence will go a long way um but you definitely were prepared and don't be afraid to use a couple of props even if it's a little like like me i have my stupid rose like it's just one little thing but sometimes waving thing around like makes people see looks it gets people like entertained it gets their attention um and so just don't be afraid to do that just step out there and be creative and take chances um but i love that you that you put the effort into it and you seem really like you wanted to have a strong story and queen diva 
are drama licious. We just love you. You know, you. I told you, you, you remind me like I'm in a podcast or a talk show, the way you make your truthful stories come to life. I love that you're like, it's brutally honest and it's true, but it's dramatic. And sometimes the best humor, it has that truth in it. So you did a really good job with the mom and dad and the broken family, you know, you're like, ah, oh, look at our little poor lives, you know? So it, it was dope, it was really dope. So thank you. All right, thank you, Bella Vida. Uh, top badge winner, um, I'm not gonna plug any of her shows since it's not on Meet Me and since we split with POS, so she can go over to the other side and announce and promote her, her damn show. POF. If anybody has POF, come by and I'll explain my shows to you. Um, <laughs> you know, I am more of a POF streamer. I do have a top badge on Meet Me, and I do come once in a while and stream over here. So fave me about twice a week. I am on Meet Me um, just to kind of get a little bit of both in, mainly because I have a lot of family of my paws that are in the Philippines, and the Philippines, for some reason, can't get on POF. So my family members that, that can't be on POF, then of course I have to come visit on Meet Me. And of course, since Medge abandoned me, I have to come over here to see him. Um, <laughs> um, so other than that, um, so let me see. Emoji J. So I know what Emoji J can do with technology. He does very well, very, very well with technology. So that was, um, that was you know, I, that's what was expected from him. I would have loved it would have been his voice or a little a, a little tiny emoji. I was like expecting a little emoji Jay to pop up on the screen and point to every like something because that's what I would have expected from him to go above that one step above on that. Um, but that's probably the only thing that I could think of. Other than that, it was actually really great. I love the fact that he made it seem like a broadcast with the you know with the news station type of style. So that was really well. Um, Flirty Danny, I love your name. Um, <laughs> I think it's a really cute name. Um, I like the part about the earthquake. Now that's probably where I would have put in a prop of maybe like shaking, like something shaking in the background or something when he was talking about the earthquake and stuff like that. But overall the plot line, you know, he did very well with the plot line. Um, and yes, one of the things is when you're, when you're telling a story for the first time, you get really, really nervous and you forget to have the eye contact and the eye interaction. But as you grow, you grow that. And even as you grow as a streamer, you also grow that too. And you just learn to stare at a screen knowing that you're just staring at yourself. Uh, <laughs> Thank God I like looking at my phone. Look at yourself. Queen Diva. Now, I love my Diva. I love my Diva. And I'm a little harder on Diva than I am on everybody else because I know what Queen Diva can do. I've seen it. She's been on this show and she has gone like from here to here when she does these things. So I will say today's disappointed me for Diva, but I know that she was in a rush because she wasn't home. So I will let it slide. But I expect way more because I know what that girl can do. I know what she can do. <laughs> <laughs> she has won she before. Won so <laughs> yes. Um, so it was, a, it was, it was all over the place for her, which is not normal at all. If anybody's ever seen her on this show, it is not normal for Diva to be all over the place. So I know, I know she was rushing, um, and you could tell. So those are my ideas. Okay. And uh, thank you so much guys, please. If you haven't already favorited, uh, not only my judges, but they're also streamers here on this app. And I believe they're also streamers here on plenty of fish. So just in case you have an account over there. Please do hit them up with a favorite. Uh, the split fills all for fun and giggles. Um, we're not split as friends at all. We our bonds are going to remain what they are. So uh, it's just the app have decided to be separate. We have decided to stay friends, and that's what's always I going to be. I don't come here very so. often, but Mesh sent me a message, and I was like, I'll be right there. Like you know, I only messaged her today. Yep. I, I already mentioned this and she was like, yeah, I'll be there where? <laughs> Usha was like, where? <laughs> she had her snacks ready. Uh, like, but that, that's the kind of bonds that they could never sever or, or split from us. Judges, if you can retire into the deliberation chat, announce the winner so I can box that person up and we can decide on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, um, we will not uh, sever our bonds and our friendships uh, because the apps have 